Okay. Thank you, Margaret. Hi, guys. All right. Sorry, I was just setting my iPad up so I could see your guys' comments. <sighs> Hi, Caroline. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Diane. Okay. So I thought we'd have a little fun today. Well, when do we don't have fun? Like, come on, let's be honest. Um... And play with a bit of pixie spray. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I've got about 30 different things on my desk right now. Anyways, okay. So what we're going to be using today, and I'm only just going to kind of do a, a brief thing on this while we've got oh, whatever, um, people coming on. So this is the pixie spray. It's by iCraft. And I know we do have um, some in stock in the store. Um, it's a repositional adhesive. Um, most people use it for stencils. Um, I'm going to show you another two uses for it other than stencils. Um, oh, here we go. All right. Making sure we got people on here. Okay. I'll give everybody another minute and then I'll start actually showing you guys what we're going to play with today. Um, so it is a repositionable adhesive. Um, so what I do when I'm using this is I usually get like those dollar store metal trays and I fill it with warm soapy water and I usually stick it on my craft table because then as soon as I'm done with the stencil in it goes, especially if I'm using a wet medium such as a paste or a paint uh, because I want that to start kind of dissolving um, right away and that will also wash off the pixie spray as well. Now you might need to take a little cloth to it a little bit. Um, but having hot water, warm water with soap starts that process, so it's not, it's not caked on after, which is always good. Oh, thanks, Val. That's sweet. Um, okay, so we got quite a few people on here, so why don't we start? And so, other than, obviously, as a spray to, um, stick on your stencils, um, it allows you, especially on the fine, detailed stencils, to hold them down while you're doing your work. So, for example, uh, sorry, I have like a big stack of stencils here. So something like this, or some words, or I had a really good one to show you guys. Oh, this one. <laughs> um, this is a wood grain one I have in my collection um, that is really hard for me to use with pastes. Um, only because it is so very, um, I wouldn't say flimsy, but it's very fine detailed. And a lot of the pieces, you know, there's big areas. So having the pixie spray helps keep it down when I'm doing my work so I don't get any smudges. So I wanted to show you guys this one. Now, what do I have that I can show you? Okay, so you can use it on paper. So, for example, this here. So I have a spray box basically and then all I do is I make sure I'm putting it whatever way down and then I just and I'm gonna fake spray it for you guys but um, so you spray it the whole thing and then you flip it over and put it down on your project so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna spray it off camera because I don't want it to come up into my camera um, so just give me one second Don't breathe it in, guys, because I've already done it twice. Okay. So I don't think you guys can see it, but it has sort of like this white, I almost want to say fuzzy on it. Um, I don't know if you guys can kind of, oh, maybe hold on, I put black behind that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's almost like a white, um, Fuzz almost, but that's the that's the actual glue. So when you see that, you know you're good. So you put that just flip it on your paper, and then you want to stick it down, okay? And now all of these pieces, if I go like this, 
they're not gonna move. That's the best example to be quite honest. So when you're using your paste paint ink, it's not gonna move. Now, I mean, it's not really good, but you'll see it's not moving. But the reason I wanted to show you this mainly is with the paint. Because I have much more fun with paint as you guys know. So this is the Isink Ice. This is in Whiskey Frost. And all I'm gonna do is I basically just Oop, it's a little bit more than I wanted. That's not always how it happens, so I'm just gonna kind of spread that out along my palette knife here. Ugh, what a mess. Lexus. Oh good, okay, so you guys could see it. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna and I can swipe sideways. So maybe I did actually need a bit more. Oh, come on. It's not being a butt. And what's nice about this is you'll see it's not moving. And I'm a total klutz. I don't know. For those of you who do know me, I am a major klutz. And I do tend to have oopsies with stencils quite a bit. Which, you know, you don't like doing after you put in all that work and you get something nice. You don't want to, let's see it, right? Okay, so clearly I've scraped that quite enough. And my baby wipes, just to wipe my tool. Always make sure you put the cap back on. Nobody likes dry paint. And now, you appeal to reveal. And with one this dainty, I would always mess up somewhere or get it underneath the stencil. You know, those places you don't want to get it. Now look at how pretty that is. Eh? No mess, no fuss, it's all good. And no ripped paper. So that's one example. Now I'm just going to throw this in my bin of hot water. Give me two seconds. There you go. Or I should say my sink of hot water. Okay, so that's one way you can use it. You can also use it on fabrics, glass, and I have wood here to show you guys, which I thought would be kind of cool. Now, I did do it on some fabric earlier. So this was a very, very detailed um, stencil, and there were a couple places where I did catch the stencil. Um, but as you can see, I had quite fun using the different colors of the paint. So I've actually got about four different of the Isink paints on here. Sorry, I was just reading comments. Um, so this was a very intricate uh, stencil, I believe. From, uh, you know, I say that and I can't remember who it's by. I want to say simple stories. And what it is, is it's the firework stencil. Um, so basically what I did is I used my pixie spray, I sprayed it. In this case, I actually put a lunch baggie, like one of the Ziploc baggies, in between the two pieces of fabric because I didn't want that sticking to the back. Um, I sprayed my stencil, stuck my stencil down. Now I did put post-it notes around it. You can see I got a little schmutz on there. Um, and then I just went to town with the colors. Um, I used the same palette knife. And then I just spread all the things, I pulled it up, put it right directly in the hot water. Um, and this is what I was left with. It looks a lot cleaner than the last one I had tried without the pixie spray. Um, because I actually smudged the words, because I was doing a word stencil. So I thought this was kind of really cool. And you can do this on all kinds of like bags. You can do it on the paper bags too with this product, which is nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the two techniques um, that you can use the Pixie Spray with that are not sort of paper ink um, types of uh, techniques. So the first one is, is actually spraying the paper 
Um, and then you, in this case here, I put glitter on top. So it makes it more like a starry night, sort of, it makes a glitter paper. So the paper itself looks like this when I start. So it's from Lawn Fawn, and this is a Genie K stamp. So what I did is I just stamped it a little earlier, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back it on black. Um, so I stamped it in just black ink, and then basically what I did is I threw this in my spray box, like so. And then I'm going to do the fake spraying for you guys. So usually I'm spraying maybe about 8 inches above, and I just the whole paper. I'm going to do that off camera, and make sure to shake. Don't breathe it in. Okay, so on this one here, you'll actually be able to see this sort of flex. Um, I just want to make sure. Oh, God, it's all in the air. Whew. So it's not as black as when I first started. So I just pull out my ridiculously large glitter. You just, wherever you want the glitter, and there you go. So I did the whole thing. You can also do, you can section it basically, so if you didn't want the trees or whatever, um, you could do like some masking. I wouldn't suggest doing this and then stamping on top. And I would let it dry just, well, I would let it dry. Okay, and there you go. So that's one technique that's sort of out of the box that you can do with the pixie spray. And another one, which I thought was kind of fun. Oof, blech. Sorry, I'm getting the stuff everywhere. Um, is using your stencils, spaying, spaying, spraying the pixie spray on top of your stencil, but not sticking it down and using the reverse. Um, so, I wanted to do this one with the... Actually, I can do it twice. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to put my piece of paper down, and then I'm going to put my stencil on top. Actually, hold on, do I have to get Trying to see if I have another one that I could use a little bit differently. Yeah, why don't we do this one? Okay. I'm going to do this one instead here. Now, the inside of my box is actually slightly tacky. Um, so this is going to allow me to also kind of stick the stencil into the box along with my paper. Now I'll do my fake spring. So I'm going to do off camera. Okay. Woo. Okay, so what we're going to do now is pull both pieces out. Okay. 
Now obviously I'll put the big stencil itself into the wash. I'm just gonna peel that off. And then you can grab Some deco foil. I just grabbed some what I have. Oh, perfect. And I've cut, cut. Even better. So, I want to create sort of a rainbow effect. I'm just going to rub that right on top. Now, personally, I would actually use the stuff made for this. Um, but if you're in a time crunch and you can't wait for it to dry, this is an alternative. And it's not going to be as nice. But it does the job. So I, caught, I thought that was kind of fun. It's a, again, it's a different way to use the pixie spray that most people are like, say, what? It does what now? This is what it does. And my foil's a little tacky, so I'm just going to let that sit. Yeah, I have to admit, this is one of my favorite foils. Anything with rainbow and I'm down. Yeah, it really, it does, it, it is like such a different way to use the pixie spray because everyone's all like, it on stencils. I'm like, no, no, let's try something different. Okay, so I want to show you guys it using on glass, a non-flat surface. So to be honest, fair warning, I haven't done this yet. So this is a trial one for me as well. I am going to use not a completely fin finicky stencil. I'm going to use this little tiny one from Long On. And I'm going to, again, spray it off camera. But I'm going to spray it extra good. So it's super white. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing because I have a, a snowflake at the bottom of my box. Alright, so we're going to put it on like so. And hopefully works. Well, better. Oh. All right, so that was a fail. Flat glass, good. Round glass, bad. I wonder if I could. No, it'll probably be the same thing. Ooh, that might. No, that's not gonna work either. Okay, glass is a fail, guys or round glass. Regular glass, I'd say we'd be fine with. Um, okay, so next option, we can play with wood. You need to go potty and talk to your mother. Well, I'm good. All right, so I'm going to do For a second there, it looks like I had glitter in my drink. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more spray. I have this color called seafoam. So I'm going to take my wood piece and I'm going to put my snowflake there. Now, ooh, sorry guys. I'm gonna do this one a little differently um, because the fact that it's wood and I don't wanna use my palette knife. So, I'm just gonna 
So I know off camera you guys can't necessarily see it, um, but I have like sort of um, a palette here. So I'm just going to, actually you guys should be seeing this. Hold on one second, I'll flip this this way. Take her right off. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some of my paint down on my palette. And lid. Oh, there we go. Okay, lid on the paint. Now this is really pretty paint. Now I have these old round foamy things that, you know, we've bought a million of and no one's going to use them now because of the brushes. So basically I'm just going to sort of dip it in my paint and then I'm just going to basically I'm going to old school stencil it. Now this technique will work with the glass when you have flat glass. <laughs> this is what I had planned to show you guys, so um, I don't have any flat glass. But if you do like a photo frame for a friend or family member, you can add intricate details like that to the glass. Okay. Oh, <gasps> sugar. Y'all didn't see that. Now, the benefit of this is I can peel this up. Reposition over here. Now, if you all wanted to go crazy, I could also glitter this. Alright, so where's my glitter? I'll show you guys. Pick that up, sticky side down, pull up my Bino glitter. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave the stencil on just in case. Just gonna throw that stencil back on there. Just in case. And I'm going to throw some glitter up on top. Now, because it's paint, it should still be slightly tacky. Now, if you have a brayer, I'd probably brayer it in. In this case, I'm just going to run my finger over it a little. Maybe not back in there. Slightly chunky. And there you go. So, also two different cool ways of doing it. So, I know you guys can't see the dimension, but there definitely is dimension on there with the glitter. Maybe if I just kind of... So, it's also the benefit of not using a glitter paste. Well, I hope you guys had fun. Is there any other things, um, like, do any of you guys use pixie spray at the moment um, for your crafting needs? Is there any other different things that you guys have done with it that are neat? Um, or that you've tried that you've liked? Oh my gosh, I'm getting a high from this. Oh, jeez. Oh, the wood it smells so yum. Oh, we got a newbie to Pixie Spray. Sorry, in here I'm cleaning. It's a habit, right? We all do it. Okay, so just a tiny little recap. So you guys obviously can use it on the backs of your stencils with your inks. Everybody inks stencils. I didn't feel I needed to show you guys that. 
Um, but I did show you with using um, the stencils like a very, very um, tiny, very um, detailed stencil with the um, paste on paper. Um, and it holds the shape very well. I've also showed you guys using um, the deco foil with the pixie spray, using it with glitter to create sort of a, a neat glittered background. Also on the fabric here as well. And again, it's just those same eye zinc paints that I was using. Um, the ones I use um, on the backs of them, side note, um, it also tells you if they can be ironed and or washed. So if you're going to be doing it on fabrics that may or may not get wet, you want to make sure you look for them just in case. Because there's some that do and some that don't. Okay. And then... Oh, right. Round glass, no go. Flat glass, good to go. And I think that was all I showed you guys. Yep. And then we've got the two on the wood with the glitter and the paint. Now, if you wanted and you had a very opaque, um, opaque, I think that's the word, um, ink that you wanted to use, basically you could do the same idea. This I'm going to put um, someone's picture on it and give it to them as a gift for next year. So I'm going to end up doing the snowflakes all over. Um, I am going to take my time because I want them to dry in between. Yeah, the round... Uh, it didn't really stick. Do I have a big stencil? Boop. Let's try this. Let's try the stars. I wonder if that'll work. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to try that after, and then I'll let you guys know if that works. Um... Anyways, I hope you guys had fun, and I hope you learned something new, um, or two, um, on ways to use the pixie spray. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Sheila. I'm glad you guys all had fun. Um, so I will be back, oh, actually, I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek since I was allowed to show you. Um, so I do the Copic Color With Me classes, and Sherry said I could show this. Um, because uh, she does have it up on the website. So the next one we're doing uh, for January, so typically we do it the last Sunday of the month, uh, we're doing sort of a Valentine's Day themed one. And we're doing these really cute little mice. So this stamp is by Pink Ink Designs. And you get the little mouse and the little sentiment. And then we do the card backing and we have fun coloring on a Sunday afternoon together. So, just thought I'd show you guys this little sneaky peek. Alright. Well, I hope you guys had fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I plan to because it's my birthday, if you guys don't know already. Um, and, fun fact, I actually do share it with my sister, but we're two years apart. So, we are celebrating together. Um, since we never used to really be able to do that because she was away. Or in school, or doing something on her own. So... We will be enjoying tonight, and I hope you guys had fun and learned lots. We will see you next month. Bye, guys.